so well dressed. Beautiful lady, how are you doing? Good to see you. Oh. Wow. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, just love to Pearson family, and um, I love Bishop so much. We, we had a lot of time to share and um, talk, and when he was in Chicago, we meet up sometime and go to dinner when he was living there, and a couple of times I um, got to hang out with him in L.A., and I remember, um, well, first of all, he was just one of those um, teachers, those thought leaders that for a person like me, it, it continued to inspire me to write deeper. Um, as a songwriter, he, you know, it challenged me to, to go deep and to really dig into um, what I wanted to say in song. He always complimented me on that. And, and one time we were sitting together, we went to dinner in LA and I was telling him that I struggled with losing people, especially when they were sick and they were passing on. I struggled with that. And, and I told him the missing was tough for me and the letting go was tough for me. And he told me that, and I'll never forget this, and I, I share it with people who are struggling with losing people. He told me this. He said, it's not that you miss the person. You miss how you experience yourself with the person. He said, when they leave, you will never experience yourself that way again. And I tell that to people all the time. And it allows you to let go because then you start saying, am I keeping them for me or am I letting them go for them? And that has helped me so much and I share it all the time. So he was that kind of, he had that kind of wisdom that, you know, to tell me that, it, you know, it's not so much as that you miss them, you miss how you experience yourself with them. And I appreciate um, just, just he, if, Unconditional love was a person. It would be Bishop Carlton Pearson. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk long. We're just going to do this song. But what I will say is he always encouraged. He always taught you about the power inside of you, that God, the kingdom inside of you and who you were, that you were not the tail, but you were the head and that you were not beneath, but you are above. He pushed to tell you that you're not at the back of the line, but you're at the front of the line. And um, this song right here I, I wrote, and, and it just reminds us of that. It reminds us that everybody, you got a blessing on you. And, and the definition of the blessing is God's word with you that overrides any challenge in the earth. There's a blessing that rests on you. And I'm going to get the choir to come and just stand and sing, sing this with me. And, and how many choir singers I got in the audience tonight? Raise your hands. I want the whole audience to be a choir with me. We're just going to do this song and celebrate just the wisdom of Bishop Carlton Pearson. Is that all right? Let's do it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, viewers. You just saw how well the legendary Donald Lawrence was paying tribute to Bishop Carlton Pearson. Apart from this, prominent and well-known personalities of other countries who were present at the funeral offered him royal praise in a very powerful way. Being a religious leader, he had a huge fan following and hence his followers were also present in a large number at the funeral. <clears throat> Before his peers would label him a heretic, the late Bishop Colton D. Pearson was once one of the best known preachers in the nation. His skilled Biblical oration steeped in the black Pentecostal tradition and melded with white evan evangelicalism helped swell the membership of the storefront church. He started in 1981 in Jenks, Oklahoma, to a full service multiracial congregation of more than 5,000, but things changed dramatically in 2000s. Pearson underwent a cataclysmic, the 
cataclysmic theological shift that altered the course of his life and his legacy among the coinon of American Christian leaders. Pearson 70 died the 19th of November after a brief battle with cancer. His splintered influence was underscored this week as a different factions pay tribute to Pearson at various memorial services that have raised questions and objections about how best to remember him. Viewers, the death of Bishop is a huge loss, is a huge loss for his family, huge loss for a friend, friends and how loved ones. Our condolences and our sympathies with his family and friend at this sad time. At the end, I will request to all and I say again, I would request to all, please pray for the departed soul of the legend. Rest in peace, Bishop Pearson. Rest in peace. I hope you are in heaven.